Ahoy! New gimbal has hit the market. It's called Cinepeer C11. It's said to be very simple, easy for beginners and very cost friendly. Not everybody wants to shoot in manual mode. Not everybody wants to deal with very difficult gimbals. There are many people out there. They just want something easy on the go. They just want to turn it on, make sure it works and get a stable video without actually having a headache. Is this really that simple to use? I guess we will find out in today's video. I will also take it outside and show you some cool moves so you don't have to always just pan left and right. And for the new faces, welcome. My name is Zdenka Karola. I create photo and video tutorials, tech reviews, and creative camera challenges. So if that's something you're passionate about, consider subscribing. It's time to explain the first move, but I don't know if I want to explain it. Maybe I just want to suntan. It is so warm. I can stay here the whole day. So the first move, you want to be in a tilt lock mode because we're going to circle around the object to reveal this scene. I really love right now to look at all these trees because there's little pieces of ice on the branches and snow covering. It just looks very nice. Again, you need to tilt lock mode because you don't want the gimbal to go up and down. You want to maintain the composition. You still want to be able to pan left and right. So you want to pick a very bold object. I'm picking up actually these um, tree right here and then I'm gonna try to do the same thing with the shrub over there on the right. So I'm gonna hide behind the object and kind of circle around it to reveal the scene. You want to lock the brightness of the scene because you don't want it to go up and down. I've got to say that the gimbal feels pretty solid in the hands. So what are the specs? This Cinepier C11 weighs 440 grams. Payload is up to 200 grams. You can use smartphones under 6.0 or GoPro with it. Charging time is 2.5 hours and once charged, it can last up to 12 hours. That is pretty good. If you are filming and your phone is running out of battery, you can charge it from the gimbal via USB cable at the bottom right here when you have your phone in vertical mode. Yes, you can use it horizontally or vertically. And this is where you charge your gimbal via micro USB cable. When it comes to balancing, I had no problem balancing my phone and my phone is Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. You don't even need a tripod or stand, it stands on its own, but surely if you want to, you can absolutely mount tripod or monopod at the bottom. The horizontal arm adjustment range is 15 millimeters and phone holder adjustable range is 58 to 85 millimeters. Cinepier C11 doesn't feel cheap at all. It actually feels pretty solid. It feels pretty sturdy. I noticed that the motors are reacting pretty quick. Um, they are pretty fast. And I really like this circle design. I was looking at it the other day. I couldn't just keep my eyes away from it. It looks good. Another very obvious shot is when you're filming upwards. So you need to bring your gimbal to the flashlight position. I just use a follow mode. I don't mind when it's going up and down, left and right. And you go very close to the object, like here, this tree, and start circling around it, showing off the top part. When you're in a city, you can show off the building or corner of the building because people when normally walk, they just look that way. They never look really up. So whenever you're filming something showing up, it's usually quite attractive to an eye. Let me show you how you operate this gimbal. Is it really that easy to use? You can connect it to ZY Play app or you don't have to, you can just use regular native camera app and change the modes on the gimbal just by pressing a button. Once you turn the gimbal on, you will be in pan follow mode by default. The tilt is locked. 
when you press the mode one time it will go to all locked mode when you press again one time it will go back to pen follow mode when you press two times you will get to full follow mode and pov mode it follows in all direction it rolls too press two times again and you will get to a fun follow mode it follows to sides up and down but rolls are locked when you press three times the gimbal will recenter when you are in all lock or tilt lock mode you can manually move the joystick and it has really wide range of motion 320 degrees for tilt 320 degrees for roll and 300 degrees for pen and then it has a zoom in and a zoom out button and it has a record power button here that's it simple another very effective move would be actually if you are doing circle around the object revealing the scene but you don't want to pan left and right so you would have your gimbal in all locked mode so it is not moving up and down left and right it just stays like this so the gimbal is not moving left and right it's actually staying on one object so what i'm going to do i'm gonna focus in the big scene lock it up hide behind an object and then circle around the object to reveal the scene When you have everything locked you don't have to be afraid to go left and right up and down it's always going to maintain the frame you always end up looking at the scene you want to film can this Cinepeer C11 do? Like I said before, the app you use with this gimbal is ZY app. The app is simplified to make it easy as possible. You can film a video in 720, 1080p or 4K all in 30 frames per second. It has pre-programmed many different moving time lapses like 180 degree panning time lapse, tilting motion time lapse, panning and tilting motion time lapse, POV mode time lapse. You select interval and duration, hit the start recording button, and it does everything for you. Next, we have static time lapse, which records in 720p, just regular video recording, take photo, create panorama. It has filters on the top, so you can change the look of the video if you want to. It has timer, flash, and light options. Last move I want to show you is the shot when you go very close to the ground. So you will need to flip the gimbal upside down. For that, I suggest tilt lock mode. That way you will maintain the composition, the frame. So the gimbal is not gonna go up and down, but it can still pan to the right and to the left. It looks the best if you choose a location that has either very narrow path or simply go close to the ground where the trees are from the roots and just follow them very closely. Don't be afraid to go between small objects to kind of get the bokeh, so the foreground blurry or the background blurry. It will make it more interesting if you kind of go through the object. Hit the thumbs up if you liked today's video. For those interested, the link to Cinepeer C11 is just below in a video description. Don't forget to subscribe to all future videos. If you have any questions, comments, simply want to say hello, you can do so in a video comment section below. And I will see all of you, my friends, in the next one. Ciao. Ahoy.